welcome back to my channel for another video. I am so excited to share today's video with you guys. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful, and I don't know if you have noticed, but they came out with a brand new science unit, and I am so excited to show you guys a peek at what is in this unit. If you have not seen it or heard about it, here it is. It is birds, and look at that beautiful cover. This is a K through eight science unit study from The Good and the Beautiful, and I cannot think of a better time for it to be released rather than the springtime, and I'm just so excited about it. There's so many cool things that they have to go along with the science unit, and so I'm gonna show you guys a flip through of this beautiful unit. If you have any questions after you watch the flip through, be sure to post them down in the comments below, and of course, I will link the good and the beautiful in my description box so you can head right over there and snag your copy of the birds unit. This is definitely, definitely going to be one of our science units um, for next school year. I don't know that we are going to get to it this spring because we've already started um, what I am thinking will be our last science unit, but I am adding birds to the top of the priority list for next school year. But all that to be said, I wanted to get on and just do a little intro before I show you guys the flip through so you can get a look at what is inside the brand new birds unit from The Good and the Beautiful. So here is a look at the brand new birds science unit study from the good and the beautiful. You can see right on the front that this is for grades K through eight. And then you might also notice that I have this bird watching notebook that is next to it. Uh, this goes along with the birds unit, obviously. And although you can use the unit study to teach all of your children, you would want a bird watching notebook for each of your kids so that they are able to record what birds they find, play the bingo game, and you can see just how beautifully done even the bird watching notebook is a national bird study. Um, there's just so many things. Bird of interest study. Look at this for identifying field marks on the birds. So this is something you're gonna want to go along with the unit study. Um, and probably each child will want their own bird watching notebook. Um, before I show you what is on the inside of the birds unit, I also want to highlight some of the books that you can purchase from the good and the beautiful to go along with the birds unit, um, science study. So the books obviously are an additional item you definitely can do the bird unit study without these books, but this just helps bring it to life. So they have this, The Good and the Beautiful Nature Reader. So the, this book is a part of the Birds Read Aloud book pack. Um, and you can see it is a hardcover book and of course is on birds and talks about that all throughout here. There's even a fabric bookmark that goes through it. There's also this book, The Story of John Audubon. So there's a read aloud that you could do with this unit study. And then if you've got younger kids or kids who just enjoy picture books, they have these beautiful picture books here. This one is called Mission Migration. And then this one is The Good and the Beautiful Songbirds Study, um, which you can see like, the the books they have are just stunning so these books are a part of a book pack that you can get to go along with the birds unit study of course those books are optional you don't have to use them and you could still get a lot out of doing this unit study there is one other thing that can pair with this that i do not have here and that is um, a birds of prey game so i don't have the game here but if you're kids love games you might look out for that so now getting into the actual birds unit study this is the newest science unit from the good and the beautiful it does not come spiral bound I did that um, it just comes um, loose and you can either three punch it and put it in a binder or you can spiral bind it or you can do whatever you want with it um, but I just decided to spiral bind this one for ease so you can see right here 
with the table of contents that it gives you the grade seven through eight lesson extensions. There's the read aloud book pack and correlated books all the supplies you'll need for the unit study. And then it shows you that it has 14 lessons and this is all about birds, obviously. I love that they include penguins. I love that they include poultry, um, which kind of goes along with some other things that we've been studying. So here is that bird watching notebook, the nature reader, and then there's that birds of prey game that I do not have, but looks like a ton of fun. So that is there. Another thing I want to mention to you guys is that there are videos that go along with this unit study on the Good and the Beautiful's website. So um, there's videos that go along with um, four videos and they're, they're vibrant and really wonderful. So you're definitely going to want to check those out. So here are the lesson extensions. If you've got older kids like I do, it tells you where you can find the answers. It tells you how long they should work on the extension. Um, and it just kind of gives you an example of something you might see from a child that age. So I love that they have that. Here is your whole supply list. So look at that. It's not super extensive at all. A lot of this stuff is going to be things that you already have around your home. Here's all the vocabulary words that we cut out and will display on our science word wall up in our schoolroom. I'm seeing a lot of words that I don't even know what the definition is. So it looks like mom is going to be learning alongside the kids, which is always fun. Now, I just want to point out how colorful these lessons are. It, I love that they give you the objective up there. I love the little preparation um, piece at the bottom. That's so helpful for me as a mom. And there's the videos I was talking about. So what you can watch online. And then your lesson is here. So look at, it's just so beautiful with real pictures and just the word, the vocabulary words that go along with it and then some cards that I'll be cutting out as we get started with this unit, but I just kept them in here for the flip through. I love all the colorful maps that are included. Such a great review if you've done kingdoms and classifications that I'm glad that that's in here. We needed to review that. There's the answer sheet for it. And then the lesson extension that goes along with it is in the back. And so I will have my oldest kids do that. Um, then this would be lesson two on bird watching. And I love that this is included in here because if you live in an area where there are not a lot of varieties of birds to see, this can be something that your kids are not familiar with doing. And so I feel like this is really helpful. Um, so just showing you some of the pages, the lesson extension, how and why do birds sing? Now we're on lesson three, parts of a bird. And it just is so beautiful. I am so excited. I think the spring is the perfect time to um, learn about birds. You're gonna be able to find a lot of them. You're gonna be able to see a lot of them. You're gonna be able to hear them when you open the windows. Flight, that'll be so interesting. I know my boys will love that. Um, and so I just really wanted to share this unit with you guys. As you can see, I'm just going to flip to the middle now to give you a look at some of the different stuff. These are some of the sheets for the kids to complete, um, in their science journals. So this would be a little booklet they would create. And I just make photocopies for all of my kids. I do that right at home. Um, and I love all the colorful images, like I said. So I just think that my kids are going to love this bird's unit and I really wanted to share it with you guys. So that is a peek at the brand new science unit from the Good and the Beautiful on birds. There are so many different things that um, go along with this. So you definitely, definitely want to check it out and add it to your list of science units to complete. I will have a link to the good and the beautiful down in the description box. If you want to check out this birds unit, I'm so excited to do it. And I think they did such a beautiful job. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, post them down below and I will be happy to get back to you, but I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek of birds.